Hey everyone, this week Washington DC, if not the world, was looking forward to the release of an FBI memo with the sort of anticipation you'd more readily associate with the launch of a new iPhone, or perhaps the release of a video in which Piers Morgan conveys genuine empathy or selflessness. In the end, there was a story and it is a scandal, but for the past few weeks we'd all been promised something so shocking that the public would see the deep state for what it is and demand that the FBI be disbanded. But so far really the only people calling for the dismantling of the FBI are the Zodiac killer D.B. Cooper and a collection of suspicious Italian sounding men from New Jersey, all of whom of course claim that their inordinate wealth stems from an olive oil importing business. Back to the memo though, the supposedly earth-shattering memo itself focused on the dubiously court-approved wiretapping of Carter Page, who was a foreign policy advisor to the Trump election campaign. This is all based on evidence which was knowingly suspect, and in spite of this, the pro-Hillary anti-Trump bias was knowingly allowed and encouraged. But this is more of a sloppy gamesmanship than some kind of coup d'etat. The powers that be thought they could get away with it because they thought that Hillary Clinton would win anyway and then she'd bestow them with rewards for their loyalty, like more money or areas in which to do those alien autopsies. This was all political theatre. It, it wasn't Dallas and Dealey Plaza so much as it was Dallas and Saturday Night Television. Of course I'm saying this with less than 24 hours on the clock, there might be more to come out of this, or perhaps everything else has already been destroyed many weeks ago, along with Hillary's email server and the chances of Chelsea Clinton running for president in two and a bit years time, well one good thing out of three ain't bad I suppose. Really though, whatever the FBI was actually up to was never really the point, the whole purpose of exposing this vignette of DC careersmanship at its worst was to discredit what remains of trust in the institutions. Next week, I suppose they're going to leak a memo explaining what the overseas aid gets spent on or what the sausages are made of. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.